What's up, y'all? It's Lay and Well. I'm a hip hop artist from Youngstown, Ohio. I was one of the first to sign with the Diesel Dumbo brand about two to three years ago. Respect the Diesel on everything he's doing. So I own the Tunnel Vision and Luxurious lines. Luxurious is basically to motivate you to wake up every morning and live a luxurious lifestyle. Tunnel Vision, on the other hand, is to get you over the bumps in the road and you gotta focus on the long haul and keep that vision straight. We dominate, motivate, and inspire life. My main man, Larry Lemuel, came to Muse Tale. Yeah, bro, what's good with you? How you doing? What's good with you, bro? You good? You already know, man. I'm everything gravy on this side. How you feel? You gravy? <laughs> this guy. So, I mean, we started like on you doing Muse Tale. You know, I was inspired by it when we was driving on the road that I created, you know, motivational stories like on the road. Remember we just talked about like how we had to, uh, we had to figure a way to do videos and show people our, our, our voyage. Yeah. So I, I commend you. Thanks for uh, helping me out. Hey man, thank you. It's like, it's, it's the same thing. Just uh, bounce energy off of each other and get better every day. Right, right. So a lot of people probably don't know that we've been hanging out since we was like, you know, young. Yeah. Our moms were best friends. Yeah, right. And we worked, you know, they we worked together. together they worked together too. Yeah. We both, yeah. we, is that funny? Yeah. We all worked yeah. together. We was uh, pushing the lawnmowers and all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We were working together too back then. Yeah. When we was too young to actually have a job and all of that. Yeah, they don't know yeah. about that. Nah, they don't know about that part. <laughs> so, what I want to ask you, man, is like, how do you, you know, Take all those experiences you had, you know, with the working, the you know, the lawnmower, you know, right. raking leaves, whatever you was doing. Right. How'd you like start getting out, you know, that hustle? Uh, no lie, around that time, I mean, like when we when we were doing the lawnmowers and stuff, like I was thinking more of it as just quick cash to get in my pocket or whatever. Right. I wasn't really looking thinking of long term because I mean, if I was, I probably would like created a lawn care service or something. Right. But, um, I mean, it just built me up to just being a crazy grinder, crazy hustler, like, and just really just looking at any avenue that I can create some kind of, like, revenue or whatever. Right, so, right. So, you remember the first time we did grass, it was a couple streets down from my old crib. Yeah. And we didn't have a lawnmower. Yeah. And we still made it, and my neighbor gave it to us. Yep, and still, so we still had two lawnmowers, was able to do what we wanted to do. Yeah. And we made a nice little, little <laughs> bank that day, too. Yeah, it was so, a Saturday. Yeah. Um, my question to you is, like, you taking all that stuff you just said, and you did all those things, and you learned from that. You know, how was it growing up in Austin Town? Did a lot of people, you know, you were around was like that, have that mentality that like, you learned at work, the grind? You know, tell us about that, being from Austin Town. Well, the people I ran with, they were more uh, athletes. So, uh, you know, they kind of really focused on that. They had tunnel vision to football and all of that stuff. So uh, right. I wouldn't say they were like working like gigs or whatever. I kind of, I was done with the football and all the sports and all of that, like pretty much my freshman year. So it was either like, well, my mom tell me, you gotta bring that bread home if you're not gonna do nothing. So even like after high school and stuff like that, and then after I graduated, uh, graduated high school, but I didn't graduate college, decided to uh, not do that route. Okay. So as I was doing that though, my mom was like, either you gonna go to school or you gonna go and work. So that was the move. So I just, like ever since then, it was just like I was always working the nine to five life. Uh, nothing wrong with it, man. Uh, I can make people do it because it's actually really tough. But um, yeah, I, I was doing a nine to five life for a few years, and then it just erupted into me being an entrepreneur of my own, like products and everything that I um, do, like with the music and acting and VA work or whatever. Right. I really haven't been on the VA work too much because I'm more trying to focus on pushing tunnel vision and luxurious and. Time to get into the album that just dropped on Spotify in June. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, where did your love for music start? Uh, 
my love for music definitely had to come from my dad. Um, I mean, we were in church all the time, and he was playing the drums, and as I grew up, I started playing the drums in the church as well. I did a little bit of tinkering, like in the choir and stuff. Uh, I really wasn't even into singing. I think I was just there because I was there right. all the time. So, um, but I remember, like, I mean, my first rap that I ever did in front of people was in church. Um, what was that like? It was, uh, honestly, I can't say I don't remember, but I didn't have, I feel like I felt no feelings for it. Like, I mean, definitely, I definitely, like, enjoyed it, but, like, right. I just feel like I wasn't, like, scared or anything, like, okay. I mean, I just, it's just, like, in me. So it's just, like, I, I don't know, I just ne never have been nervous to be on stage and be in front of people and stuff like that, so. Okay. It was good. So a lot of people don't know that we went to Eagle Heights together. Yeah, oh, yeah. And how was that, like, you going from Eagle Heights to Austin Town? Oh, like, that transition, like. It was definitely a, a huge shift. Um, I mean, I was, I was pretty young, honestly, so I'm not going to say that I, like, knew everything that was going on in that time right. at Eagle Heights, but, like, I mean, just, it was a lot of, like, um, just trouble going on there, realistically, like, and it, I mean, I, I'm not even talking, like, drug stuff, and I, like, because, like I said, I've only been there since I was in kindergarten through fourth grade, so I'm sure people who weren't smoking doobies, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah school or whatever at that time, but regardless, uh, in Eagle Heights, it was just like a lot, it was a lot of people really, and a lot of trouble and just a lot of stuff going on. And then my shift to Austin Town was like, it was a big difference because then it's just like a system. I, I was never really around like white people all like that and stuff like that. So, right. so I, I opened up to a new culture really and learned a lot about different people that I may have not really learned about if I continued to go to Eagle Heights or like went to whatever school is that's in the Youngstown area. So, yeah, I mean, that's it. Right, so you being from Youngstown, what does Youngstown mean to you? And you know, you live in Austin Town and you continue, you know. Yeah, born to, in Youngstown, right, right. in Austin Town type thing. Yeah. So like, I know you lived in Austin Town, but you really from Youngstown. So what is your love for Youngstown? As a city, my love for Youngstown is a uh, it's a hate love relationship, really. Uh, Why you say that? Because like I like traveling and going to see these different cities. Before I went traveling and seeing all these different cities, I really like. I won't say I didn't have respect for Youngstown because I'm always gonna love where I'm from, but it just I I just like didn't like it. Like I always wanted to leave and like be away from it. Because I felt like it was just like, oh man, you see the same people every day, oh man, it's grungy, you guys kill right. each other every day, and all of that stuff. But realistically, man, that stuff goes on everywhere. So then, like, fast forward, and I travel to all these places, and I see all these different, and I and I think it in my head, like, okay, this place is like, this would be like the country version of where I live at, or this would be, and it right. always tied back to Youngstown, though. And it's something about it that, I just truly love, and it's definitely funny because this is where I'm from. Right. Like all these artists, like want to like up and move to Atlanta or up and move to like Cali and stuff like that, and that's not like even really where I want to go. Like now I'm at the point where I want to stay here. Like yeah, I gotta go out and venture out and go do things that I gotta do at different times. But I definitely love my city, 